YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel, it's Cassandra here. And if you're new, I post videos all on beauty and lifestyle. Uh, mostly skincare these days and just about anything that tickles my fancy. So if that interests you, don't forget to click the subscription button. You can do it now, you can do it later. You know, you can do it in the middle of the video. Just like click the, sus flip click the subscription button to help your sister out, okay? Anyways, I look a hot mess. I know that y'all don't have to tell me this in the comments. I know that. But I am actually going to be doing a review of Pattern Beauty. I was so extremely, extremely excited to get this. So initially I wasn't going to buy it only because I know I didn't need it. Like I didn't need another hair care. I didn't need, I don't need any more hair care products to be really honest. But this is Pattern Beauty and it was created by Tracy Ellis, Ellis Ross. For many of you guys who don't know who she is, she was in, um, she's Diana Ross's daughter. I think she's probably the, she's Diana Ross's oldest child, I believe. And she, anybody who knows Tracy Ellis Ross, she always has her hair big and just vivacious. And to me, I've always looked up to Diana Ross from like a very early age. I just remember having her cassette. Cassette, that's how old I am. I had her, I had Diana Ross's cassette tapes and I just always thought she was just the most glamorous person in the world. And to me, that's just a reflection of what her daughter is. Like Tracy Ellis Ross to me is what I wanna be when I'm in my 40s, you know, just confident, don't care about much, you know, just like free and just, you know, independent. I love her. So she created um, Pattern Beauty and I was just like, I wanted to try it but I know I didn't need to buy anything. And I pretty much got it like a week after she, it was released or maybe like a couple days after it was released. The products were sold out and I went on the website and I was gonna buy the products but a lot of stuff that I actually wanted to try was sold out. And I was watching a video on Pattern Beauty and somebody mentioned in the comments that they were gonna restock on Ulta so I actually purchased mine from Ulta. Now, I will say that the prices for these are pretty out of my price range when it comes to hair products. And it's no secret, I like to support women, especially black women or women of color. When it comes to products, I've bought the Gabriel Union products before. I still, I thought those were still pretty pricey. Um, this to me is still pretty pricey, but there are not a lot of women of color that does, um, what do you call it, luxury hair care um, product. Um, it's really not a lot of people that are women of color that owns luxury hair care brands. And I think it's awesome when you find a woman of color that does come out with a luxury hair care brand. The only other woman of color that I know that has a luxury hair care brand besides Gabrielle Union, which I don't even know she still sells those products, is um, the Briogeo, the Briogeo, which is owned by a woman of color. I don't know exactly what her name is, but I just know that it was owned by a woman of color. Um, and you would never know that from the marketing, right? So anyways, Pattern Beauty. So I really wanted to try this. And one, for one thing, I am very, very obsessed with the packaging. I think the artwork on this is amazing. So I decided to buy the On The Go kit because I got... Um, you got the I got the three things that I wanted to try out which is the conditioner the shampoo the conditioner and the leave-in um, leave-in conditioner and then I wanted to try I got these all from Ulta and I wanted to try the conditioner the intensive conditioner why do Ulta do this like why is it in a plastic bag it's such a waste I wanted to try the intensive conditioner because I have really thick full hair like, like I said, Diana Ross is my inspiration when it comes to my hair. I like my hair big, I like my hair full when I do wear it natural, and that's just, that's just it. So I figured the intensive would be more my speed. I'm not sure. Um, I want to say this whole package, I don't remember how much I pay for it. Uh, let me go on Ulta and see how much it cost. Okay, so the On The Go kit on Ulta's um, website, it costs $24. I believe that's what it costs on her website as well. And then these uh, little beauties cost $9, which to me was a better price and more up my price range than the actual full size one, which were $25. Like I was not gonna spend $25 on some stuff that I probably won't like. But I decided to get the, the On The Go kit and then one separately just to see how I like it. Full disclosure, the first time I got it, I was so excited that usually when I have um, edge, edge control in my hair, I have to like wash my hair out, the, the one from Style Factor, because sometimes if I use a lot of product, I get like white stuff in my hair. So I, I use a little bit of the, the shampoo and I use a little bit of the conditioner, but not enough to like really get a cool like perspective off it. 
And so far the conditioner, the shampoo reminds me a lot of my Shea Moisture Hibiscus Shampoo. Um, it was very hydrating but I didn't use a lot of it because I only used it on my edges. And uh, the conditioner, again I didn't use a lot of it because I, I, just, I just I couldn't get a, a full grip, grasp of it. So I'm going to wash my hair. Um, I feel like I should do that on camera but I don't necessarily want to do that on camera. So I'm going to wash my hair. Come back, let y'all know how I like it, and then um, tell y'all about the products because I feel like that's just a more effective way for me to do that. I am not one of those people who want to go in the bathroom and wash my hair on camera. It's just kind of weird. Or maybe I should just do it right here. So anyways, this is what my hair looks like. And yeah, I know I need to shave my armpits. So this is what my hair looks like. And I've been wearing my hair out for about a week now. I just decided to give the wigs a break. And this is pretty much what my hair looks like. So my hair isn't dirty, dirty. What it is, it does feel a little bit dry. And I, I'm hoping that this stuff will actually work. So with the shampoo, you get three, four ounces of um, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner which is not a bad deal. Um, and also, one thing I wanted to mention, when it comes to the full-size product, she did make the shampoos a little bit smaller than the conditioner, which makes more sense because as a natural hair girl, you tend to use a lot more conditioners than you do shampoos anyways. At least that's what I do, and I'm pretty sure that's what most people do. So I thought that was very innovative. Another thing that I've noticed, and I actually was watching somebody's video, and I was like, this is actually so, like, this is some deep Illuminati kind of stuff. So, the one thing I love about Pattern Beauty is the artwork. Each artwork has, like, a different eye. And I don't think anybody really noticed that for the, um, the artwork. So, the leave-in conditioner is yellow as well as the little bottles of oil, they're yellow. I didn't purchase any of the oils because I have enough oils. And I was not about to pay $24 for some oils that I don't need. But, on the intensive conditioner, like, the eye is a little bit, like, a little bit different compared to, like, this. The, the heavy conditioner and then if you get the regular conditioner the eyes also different so that's just one thing to note but I just love the packaging I love these I love how very um pop art it is it reminds me of a famous artist that I cannot remember that made like these little stick figures back in the early 90s um and it was just to wear um create awareness I believe about um, HIV and like funding for HIV I don't remember but that's what the artwork remind me of so I'm gonna try the shampoo a little bit and this is how like it's kind of runny which it I mean it's a shampoo it is what it is now the smell it has a faint faint perfumey scent which doesn't bother me because it's a shampoo um, was for the conditioner the conditioner didn't really have a smell. The one thing I will say that I didn't like was the the scent in the leave-in conditioner. I felt like it was a little bit too fragrancy for me, but that's just my thing. Um, but the shampoo is not bad. So I'm going to just like put it in my hair and then rinse my hair out in the shower and let y'all know how I feel. So when it comes to shampoo in my hair, I tend to stay only in the roots I never really like to shampoo my ends only because your hands are always going to be drier than your roots because your roots are pretty much your scalp and your hair your scalp produce oil and if you are a natural girl your scalp is always going to be your oiliest compared to your roots your roots are just always going to be your dry so it doesn't make sense to like kind of wash your ends with like um shampoo you're only just going to dry it out but um, every to each their own but for me I just like to just shampoo my scalp and then use regular water to wash out the product on the ends of my hair so this is this so I'm gonna wash this out and come back and let y'all know how I feel about it but I feel like it's gonna it, it reminds me a lot of my Shea Moisture shampoo and I feel like I'm probably just gonna get the same effect anyway so 
yeah okay so hair is fully washed um i typically wash my hair by the kitchen sink because it just makes more sense i'm not clogging up my bathroom drain with my hair because sometimes depending on how my body is my hair will shed a lot and i just i'm not trying to buy a drain or every second so about the shampoo it is very hydrating like i suspected it reminds me a lot of my Shea Moisture Curl and Shine um, Coconut Hibiscus Shampoo. I love this stuff. I've been using this stuff for years, for years, and I just refuse to try any other shampoo besides it. Um, this reminds me a lot of this, but I still feel like this is a little, it's still a little bit more hydrating than this is. Um, and for the price point, I would still be sticking with my Shea Moisture Shampoo because it's a familiarity. It's something I've been using for years and if something isn't broke, don't fix it. But I will be finishing this because I paid $9 for it. I paid $24 for the pack and I'm, I'm going to be finished using it. So, yeah, I just wanted to note that if you guys were, con you know, wondering. So, as for the sham, the conditioner. So, I have the heavy shampoo sh heavy conditioner and i also have the intensive sh conditioner and the set comes with the heavy conditioner but i bought the intensive one just because i wanted to use the intensive one um because i felt like i needed the intensive one why is there tape on uh, ulta oh ulta gives me a headache okay it's great that they tape this stuff up but it's kind of annoying anyways so like I was saying with the Illuminati, um, like deep conspiracy theory, whatever. The heavy conditioner has the eyes. The heavy conditioner have the eyes looking like this, and the intensive conditioner have the eyes looking at like this. So it's still pretty cool. I I love that um aspect. I love how identifiable it is, so you know which one to get. That way you're not confused. And also the medium one, I believe, um has a different eye shape as well. So just something to look out for, just a little tidbit. So um, let's see, the heavy conditioner. Oh wow, okay, this stuff is really thick. Uh, let me pull this towel off. So this is what my hair looks like, wet. Yeah, so it's very thick. The heavy conditioner is very thick. Let's see the intensive. Oh, it's, it has like a little thing on it. And they're, they bought retail for $9 if you were to buy these individually. And you get three ounces. And the thick one, the intensive one is thick. It's weird. The intensive one is thick. But I feel like the heavy one is thicker. So like I was saying, the heavy conditioner and the intensive conditioner, um... The intensity, like the texture of both, feels a little bit different. The heavy one feels a lot thicker in consistency in comparison to the the intensive one, um, which is very hot, odd because I would expect the intensive conditioner to have a thicker consistency than the heavy one. I am probably just going to stick with the intensive conditioner. Ooh. Okay, this is this is how sometimes I could know if a conditioner is good. Like if it coats my hair and it stays on top of my hair, it's never really a good sign, but we going to finish up this whole process. So I'm using the heavy conditioner and I typically just coat the entire hair. When it comes to conditioners, I use a lot. When I say a lot, I use a lot of conditioner in my hair. It's it just is what it is. My hair needs it. And my hair's been growing a lot ever since I've been wearing like wigs lately. My hair has just been flourishing. Not only that, I, I've also been um, taking collagen, like drinking collagen um, powder. I put it in my coffee, put it in my tea. I put it in everything. And I've noticed that it's helped my hair to kind of flourish. And it's also helped my joints to like feel better. So I'm going to do a video talking about collagen powder and tips on how to grow your hair. But... For the most part, my hair has been flourishing and I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my hair and I think I'm going to let it stay because I like my conditioner to stay in my hair. Just a little bit more than like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and let y'all know how I feel about it. So, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so shampoo condition is out. Um, I left the conditioner in my hair for a good um, 10 plus minute because I am racing against the sunlight again and I want to get this video out. As for the conditioner, I think that the conditioner is actually pretty good. My hair does feel really soft and really moisturized. But for me, I like to leave my, for to get the, te the hydration that I need in my hair and for my hair to just stay hydrated all week, I like to sleep with my conditioner in my hair. That's just how I roll and I find that I get the best results with my hair that way. Um, but I did use the intensive conditioner and it is actually pretty good. It's, it's very hydrated. However, the one thing I will say I did not like about it is that it coated my hair. Now my conditioner of choice when it comes to my my hair anytime I wash my hair is always the Maui Moisture. Um, I used to use the green one and now I've switched to the Shea Butter Hair Mask for dry damaged hair. This stuff, this stuff is amazing. And anytime I use this stuff, I find that it just, it almost seeps into the cuticles of my hair and it makes my hair really soft. When I compare it to this, I would say that this coats my hair, this just seeps into my hair and it just makes my hair moisturized. But I did get the same, I, I will say that this makes my hair a little bit more moisturized in comparison to this one. I don't know what the formulation of this that makes it works a little bit better in my opinion, but this is also pretty good. So if I had to choose between the heavy or the intensive, I would probably stick with the intensive because I feel like my hair just needs that intensive level of moisture. But I also find that the heavy works just as it works just as well. And I wish they had made a kit where um, you get the intensive in it. Um, I believe the conditioners for the kit only comes with the regular one and the heavy conditioner because there's another conditioner that's less than this for people who have lightly coiled hair but for people who have heavy coiled hair like myself i like the intensive um conditioner now um i think i'm gonna try the leave-in conditioner i don't know if i'm gonna like this because this reminds me a lot of just a regular it just reminds me a lot of a regular conditioner um it's not necessarily a styling product and I like the fr I actually like the scent. I can't believe I said I didn't like the scent. It actually it it it's not really doing much for my hair. The the texture of it is very light. If I was to do a twist out with this, I would probably have to come use it with something else because the texture of this is just too light. It really it really reminds me of just a regular suave conditioner, and it's not necessarily something that I would repurchase. I would probably repurchase the conditioner, but I'll probably get the bigger tub because. I go through a lot of conditioner and this little thing, I'm literally like, I, I don't even know, I can't even see, I can't even show you guys, but I'm, I literally use like half of this and it's just, it's not worth the $9. I would probably say in terms of price per use, you are better off getting the bigger one than getting the smaller one. But if you just want to try it out, you could get a smaller one. But overall, the products feel great. I'm not a fan of the... I'm not a fan of this. It just... It's too light. It's not really doing anything for me at all. It's just not doing anything for my hair at all. I feel like I need something heavier. But for the most part, my hair feels pretty good. So, yeah. So I'm going to style this up and then... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to style this up and then... um come back and give you my final final thoughts give you my final final thoughts okay so final thoughts this is pretty much my hair and what I usually do I had to mix my actual um, leave-in cream with the pattern beauty um, leave-in conditioner because this like I said it was just it's too light it's too light for my hair. I feel like if you had a softer, less coily texture, then you would love this. But I had to mix it with something that was a little bit heavier and that was my Cream of Nature Curl Repair Leave-In Leave-In thing that I use for my twist out. That's pretty much how I've been rocking my hair all week lately. I usually just twist it up, let it out, and put my head back um, headband on. As for the actual products, they're really good. My favorite was the conditioner, um, obviously because I love conditioners. 
Uh, the shampoo was pretty great. Um, the leave-in, not so great, but they're really good products. I'm not gonna say that they're horrible products. They're really good products. They're nothing that is gonna replace my actual products that I usually use, which are my typical shampoo, my typical conditioner, and my favorite, um, my typical leave-in and my favorite conditioner. They're nothing that's gonna replace it. If I was to repurchase anything, it would probably be the conditioner in the intensive because I actually really like it. Um, but I think they're really great products. Um, again, it is a luxury um, hair care line. And to me, there's only so much you could do when it comes to luxury hair care line unless you're coming out with something very, um, very, like, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, like, unless you're coming out with something very innovative, it's not much you could do when it comes to luxury hair care line. But I do feel like there is room for women of color to put their stamp on the luxury hair care market because there's not a lot of there's only three that i know of and that's gabrielle union um the lady that owns briogio and tracy ellis ross so i think it's great the products are great um if you want to try them out i'll leave the links down below you can get them at ulta or you can buy it on the website she also has a lot of other products like the oils um the detangling brush and the clips and the microfiber towels for me, those are a little bit out of my price range. When it comes to hair care product, I like to stick with what I know. That's somewhat somewhere in the ten to thirteen dollar, ten to fifteen dollar range when it comes to hair care products. I tend not to go over that price point, but that's just me and my product, my pocket, and my my lifestyle. So yeah. Products are great. You guys could check it out. I think it's awesome. And I think my favorite, favorite thing out of all of these, like out of the, the side, the, the product, the product aside, is the packaging. I absolutely adore the artwork on it. And that's because I am an artsy kind of person. I just love the artwork on it. I love it so much. And it's actually kind of an inspiration because I do want to come up with my own skincare line of products. And I just love love how the I love the packaging I absolutely love the packaging so anyways I hope that video was informative I hope you guys find that interesting and find some value in it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back with some more videos later bye guys